Well, schools across the first coast are still dealing with threats as law enforcement agencies try new tactics to curb this ongoing issue. There have been reports of at least 20 threats made at schools here in our area. All of this happening just within the last two weeks or so. Six of those happened this week alone over here. Well, down here, I should say in Putnam County. So in one of those cases, an 11 year old brought a knife to school. A 13 and 14 year old were also arrested yesterday for threatening to bring guns to school. The Putnam County Sheriff is continuing to post the mug shots of all the kids accused of making threats. And we spoke with him Tuesday and he says he wants to send a message to parents to take action and talk to your kids about these issues. This is a very real, very serious crime. These juveniles are committing. We've warned them. They didn't heed my warnings. The fact of the matter is this is a second degree felony to make a written threat like this. And we did reach out to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office again today in light of these new arrests. A spokesperson says parents should also be checking their child's belongings. And it is important to note tonight under Florida law, it is legal for law enforcement agencies to post the names and mugshots of juveniles if they are charged with a felony.